It's me again guys, Kellogg Graphics. Uh, I left something out in the last video, didn't really realize it until now. If you reapply a decal, sometimes you'll have an issue with a little bit of tiny bit of wrinkles, or maybe an air bubble or two. Once again, the hair dryer and the heat gun will fix that, so don't fret, don't freak out, don't go buy a whole new set of decals even though they're not even bother me. <laughs> Just kidding. So you'll take a, I, I use a felt tip squeegee because it can get the uh, wrinkles without tearing, but you can use your fingertips and kind of smash them out, get that warmed up, you know. Massage those wrinkly areas. Make sure always to go in a fashion that doesn't tear or overly wrinkle the wrinkle, you know, make it bigger. You don't want that, but uh, you can push all the water out, move the decal, like we were saying before, a little bit if you need to. Just remember, even though you may think the decal is uh, misshapen sometimes or not in the right spot, even a little bit of like 16th of an inch can, of movement can line these decals back up exactly where you want them. Some people like them slightly overlapping, some like right in the center. I've noticed, uh, I've noticed it's pretty pretty easy to get it off and not realize it and have to go back. So you best to do that 100% of course when it's wet. Otherwise, once it's settled and stuck in there, you're gonna have a lot harder, a lot harder time getting, uh, getting it off and then there's tearing it and uh, misshaping it. But one thing, if you do use a heat gun or a hair dryer, always, 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 can't, can't stress this enough. Wait until the vinyl is 100% cooled down before you try to peel up an edge or take it off if you are going to try that. But I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend taking it off once you've heat set it. Heat setting is kind of like the the no return. You know, it's it's there. So only heat set it. Only heat set it if you're 100% happy with where it's at or you just want to stretch it a little bit in you know, some area like a corner or whatever. So like this, but once you do this, this is going to heat set it to the to the body and cause it so it won't fly off in the wind. Especially on a cold day, I would recommend this because as soon as you hit that wind, get 40, 50, 60 miles an hour and above, it's going to lift under that decal just to have any water under it or any wetness, you know, at all. So, thanks again for watching. Leave comments as always, and uh, go uh, check out my page. Thanks.